everyone! Welcome back to my channel. I'm making baked pork chops with the brown sugar mustard that tastes a lot like honey mustard. So hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. The first thing you're going to do is let your eggs and your pork chops rest for 30 minutes before starting. I'm making six pork chops but I'm showing you three. The ingredients are for four though. For the sauce you can use honey but to make this diabetic friendly I'm using brown sugar Splenda. Go ahead and add your mustard, the red wine vinegar, and some parsley flakes. You can use fresh ones, but I happen to run out. Oops, excuse my mess. That was a paprika, by the way. But go ahead and give this a good stir. Once you've got that taken care of, set it aside. This recipe is a lot like the air fryer katsu that I made in episode 30. Go back and watch that if you'd like. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna coat our pork with the egg all over it, and then we're gonna press this into our panko. Making sure you get the front, the back, the side, just everywhere the meat is exposed. By the way, I'm using a gluten-free panko. Now grab your baking sheet. I like to line mine with foil to keep it cleaner for myself. Spray it down with some cooking oil and lay your pork on top of it. My pork chops were a little large, so I had to maneuver it around and get it all in there. But now we're just going to get the sauce that we made earlier and kind of drizzle it on top. If you guys like honey mustard, you might want to double this recipe. The sauce is really good. Now we're going to add about one tablespoon of butter on top of each pork chop. Then grab some more panko and kind of press it in there so that that absorbs some of the butter flavor as well. We'll be baking these at 375 uh, for about 20 minutes. All ovens are created differently, so just make sure you keep an eye on it. Now let's plate this. Enjoy this with your favorite side. I just went ahead and made some mashed potatoes and used the rest of my dipping sauce in a small little bowl. And my family just loved it with every single bite. If you guys like this video, please hit that subscribe button. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.